Hi, it's Joan, so you're watching Freer and Beyond Journey's End, Season 1, Episode 6, The Hero of the Village, which who we are recruiting and we're hoping to actually defeat this dragon. Very excited for this episode, thank you so much Luis for sponsoring and let's go! I mean you don't know until the moment comes, do you, to be honest? Maybe he was a little too violent in his training? Like, I'd also leave if my master was hitting me. Like, intentionally. Not as part of training. Hmm. Put a lot of training into this. <laughs> Me too. Kinda hope the dragon doesn't attack those of the people we save. It's natural to be afraid. What? Nothing wrong with being afraid, yeah. It's what you do in the face of that fear. If you're able to be brave without ever feeling fear, then you're not really being brave, because there's nothing to be brave about. You weren't concerned in the first place. That might help him, because he clearly looked up to his master. And so realising that his master also felt the feelings he's feeling. And yet he became a strong warrior. Mm hmm He's distracting it for you. Do your business. Why did you do it? It makes me like you a lot less. Because he was more powerful than you. I really don't like Ison very much anymore. But like, you train someone and instead of being really proud that they have achieved and come, a, like, they have the potential to be brilliant, you become so afraid of them you hit them when they trust you. Or is Freera not doing anything because she wants him to finish off the dragon? You already killed it, oh my god. Hmm. You were capable all this time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Have fun along the way, live. My master's a bit of a dick. Me three. Four. Four of us, if I'm with them. How long's a while? <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. You can become friends, get to know each other a bit. Best way that will happen on the road, regardless. <laughs> Her main socialization has been with Gurren, so. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite, technically, right now. <laughs> that person said business is being disrupted by the checkpoint being closed. They probably aren't merchants. Yeah. I mean, you haven't known him that long. Maybe he, he's happy to do this. What does he mean? They're about the same age, aren't they? 
also does he want to complete the journey and get back to his master and tell him about it before his master dies of old age okay. that makes sense it's very sweet フリーレン様。こんなところで何をやっ。あ。申し訳ありませんでした。フリーレン様、どうかお許しください。待って。すごくいいような流れ。I mean it seems like it's going in a decent direction. ええ、今。魔王軍の残党との紛争が絶えないと聞きます。現状を憂えてのことでしょう。その心差し <laughs> yes, we're going for that reason. We're not going for selfish reasons or personal reasons. Not really selfish reasons, just personal reasons. <laughs> well, we better do something about those demonic forces now, hadn't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> A lot like the last time. So <laughs> done. I'm really, really excited to continue going on this journey. I love the addition of Mr. Stark. Um, he seems like another really fun character. I like the idea that, like, he was initially presented to us as a coward, but he's actually a really talented warrior. That he thought he disappointed his master but now he's like trying to do this journey for his master and get back in time like i think he's a really nice compliment to the characters we already had um so i'm really excited to see how it goes and how their friendships will form and how the group dynamic changes and everything defeating the dragon i really enjoyed and i i wonder like freerin didn't really seem to need 30 seconds she wasn't doing anything she was just standing and watching i think she always knew he was capable of defeating the dragon by himself she was just kind of giving him the confidence to do it to prove to himself he could in a way because thinking okay i've just got to keep the dragon busy for 30 seconds i can do that and then someone else will deal with the problem so he was more willing to face it whereas if they told him you're gonna go and kill the dragon he would have been a lot more hesitant so i enjoyed that angle of things i didn't enjoy learning that aizen hit his student who he has raised from a child because he was scared of him because he was going to be a really great warrior because that's that kind of small mindedness of like he's going to be a better warrior than me therefore i am afraid of him so i have to crush him i was glad he's not happy with how he treated him but i don't blame stark for leaving if that's what happened and i'm also like why are you bothering to do this great mission to honor him i mean i suppose he raised him but like what a petty little man and i don't mean because he's a dwarf i mean like on the inside he's a petty little man <sighs> I love how chaotic and random Freerin is. Like, I guess she'd be like chaotic good. Um, on a side note, I'm really, really excited. Last week, I went to the first of a six month course um, with like a local like mental health charity thing, but it's a D&D &D course where you learn D&D &D and you get to play it and like make your own characters. And I'm so excited. Anyway, sorry, just that's all I've been thinking about. And this show is very kind of it's fantastical in that way. Um, I just really enjoyed this motley crew of characters and coming to this city and yet again kind of we're continually following in the footsteps they took on their previous journey seeing little glimpses of it and you can see how much it's affected freer and even if i don't know that she i think she's now kind of aware of it but to her the idea that 10 years could have that much of a con that much of an impact though like i will say a minute could do because something could happen in one minute that could change your life forever um now i wonder Obviously, they left this city under acclaim and banners and cheers because they're going to go and help fight the lingering remnants of the Demon King's forces. Now, that was not even remotely the plan. The plan was to pop to the north, chat with some spirits and come home again. So I wonder whether inevitably they'll probably come across some of these battles if they're happening. So like if they're raging so widespread and people are in trouble and need help but i wonder whether they'll seek any of them out at all now that they've kind of been told it's happening and that people need help and that they're there they're intrigued to see where it's going to go in the future episodes and just so excited to continue on this journey thank you so much louise for sponsoring and thank you for watching